aspirant appears for certain number of tests, his average score increases by 1 if the first 10 tests are not considered and decreases by 1 if the last 10 tests are not considered. If his average score for first 10 and last 10 tests are 20 and 30 respectively, then the total number of tests taken by him is. So, let me just form equations here. So, I am assuming that initially he is taking n number of tests wherein his average is a. So, sum of his marks will be na. Now, from that sum, if I subtract the sum of marks of his first 10 tests, so in that case, sum will be number of tests into average in those 10 tests. So, number of tests is 10, 10 first tests and his average across those tests is 20. So, sum will be 200. So, if I subtract 200 from na, what happens to the new sum? New sum is for n minus 10 tests and the average in that case increases by 1. So, I am just writing a plus 1. So, this is our first scenario. So, I will simplify this. Let me just uh, first write second scenario. So, in second scenario, again, we start with na as the initial sum. From that, we don't consider his marks of last 10 tests. So, the number of tests is 10 and across those 10 tests, his average is 30. So, we don't consider this 300 marks. Then what is the new sum in that case? The new sum is number of tests into average. So, number of tests is n minus 10 because n was original. From that, we are not considering last 10. And what happens to the average in that case? Average decreases by 1. So, average becomes initial average minus 1. So, these are the two equations that we have to work with. Now, I will just simplify these two equations. So, let me just simplify these two equations. So, this becomes Na minus 200 is equal to, let me just expand this. So, this is Na plus N minus 10A minus 10. Na, Na gets cancelled and I can just take 10A minus N on this side and this 200 on the other side. So, that will be 200 minus 10 or 190. Similarly, I can modify this equation as well. So, this is Na minus 300 that comes to Na minus N minus 10A plus 10. Na, Na here also gets cancelled. And I am just taking 10A plus N on this side and 300, 10 on the other side. This is 300 plus 10 comes to 310. So, I have modified first equation and modified second equation. So, if we see in the question, they are asking for the value of number of tests taken. So, we have to find out the value of n. So, what we can do is we can do 2 dash minus 1 dash. So, that will directly give us the value of n. So, I am just doing 2 dash minus 1 dash. So, 2 dash is 10a plus n and I have to subtract from that 10a minus n. RHS will be 310 minus 190. 10a minus 10a gets cancelled n minus of minus n that comes to 2n and here we have 120 so n directly comes to 60 answer for this question is 60